this video we will learn gyroscopic effect on an aeroplane in an aeroplane there are rotating parts like propeller or turbine blades in this i have drawn one propeller here consider a sketch of front view and top view of an aeroplane let us assume propeller is rotating in anti clockwise direction when viewed from the right so this propeller is rotating in anti clockwise direction when viewed from the right side that means if you view this propeller from back side rear side at that time this propeller is rotating in clockwise direction if plane takes a turn here it is taking a right turn axis of rotation of propeller also turn this axis of rotation of propeller will also turn here axis is rotating in clockwise direction about vertical axis when viewed from the top therefore in this case gyroscopic effect will be generated and value of this gyroscopic couple will be i omega into omega p as usual which we have discussed in previous video where i is the moment of inertia of spinning bodies here i have taken propeller so i is the moment of inertia of propeller which can be calculated using i is equal to mk square where m is mass of the rotating body and k is the radius of gyration next is omega which is the angular velocity of spinning bodies so angular velocity of this propeller if rpm is given then omega can be calculated as 2 pi n divided by 60 where n is the rpm of the rotating body third one is omega p which is the angular velocity of precision and this angular velocity can be calculated here using relation v by r where if this aeroplane is taking a turn in a circular arc then v is the velocity tangential velocity which is equal to the velocity of this plane and r is the radius of rotation so this is r is radius of rotation from v by r using v by r you can calculate angular velocity of precision now from this right hand screw rule if you want to rep represent this angular velocity or angular momentum then using this right hand screw rule you can draw angular momentum in this direction because if it is rotating in anti clockwise direction then this screw will move in this direction in right side direction that's why i have drawn this vector in this direction if it takes right turn so it is taking right turn in that case you will get right hand using right hand screw rule this direction will be here in this direction so you can draw vector diagram so this is the first vector initial momentum then if it is taking a right turn then this will be the final momentum after some time after a small time dt so this will be your active gyroscopic couple from start point to end point and just opposite to this will be reactive gyroscopic couple here axis of rotation itself is moving because this plane is taking a turn therefore reactive gyroscopic couple will be in effect so this diagram i have drawn in top view so when you look from top you can view this diagram when you look from front reactive gyroscopic couple will appear as a point then it is represented as a cross here the required couple vector is obtained by clockwise couple in vertical plane so one clockwise couple will act which will try to dip the nose and raise the tail so in this condition reactive gyroscopic couple will raise the tail and dip the nose of the plane now if it is taking a left turn in that case you can draw again draw vector diagram so this will be the initial uh, angular momentum now it is taking left turn so this should be the next angular momentum after some time dt so this will be your active gyroscopic couple this is active gyroscopic couple just opposite to this will be reactive gyroscopic couple now this reactive gyroscopic couple i have shown as a point here because this gyroscopic couple is acting towards us if you want to get this reactive gyroscopic couple so you have to apply couple in anti clockwise direction because from right hand screw rule if you rotate a right hand screw in anti clockwise direction it will screw will move towards you so this is the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple so one anti clockwise couple will act in this plane which will try to raise the nose and dip the tail of this aeroplane so in this condition reactive gyroscopic couple will raise the nose and dip the tail of the plane if you feel difficulty in drawing this vector diagram you can memorize this you need to memorize only one condition suppose propeller is rotating in clockwise when viewed from the tail 
then right turn will cause raise the tail and dip the nose then in case of left turn just opposite to this raise the nose and dip the tail if it is rotating in anti clockwise direction when viewed from the tail then you make just opposite to the first one because it is clockwise when viewed from the tail anti clockwise when viewed from the tail will be just opposite to this so for right turn it will be raise the nose and dip the tail and for left turn it will be raise the tail and dip the nose if it is clockwise when viewed from the nose that means it is anti clockwise when viewed from the tail both meaning are same clockwise when viewed from the nose and anti clockwise when viewed from the tail are same therefore the same thing i have written here right turn raise the nose and dip the tail left turn raise the tail and dip the nose and for last one anti clockwise when viewed from the nose if it is anti clockwise when viewed from the nose that means it is clockwise when viewed from the tail so same thing you have just you have to write the same thing right turn raise the tail dip the nose left turn raise the nose and dip the tail in this way if you remember only if you memorize only one condition you can generate all the other conditions let's try to solve one example problem an aeroplane makes a complete half circle of 50 meters so i have drawn front view and top view of the aeroplane and it is taking a complete half circle of 50 meter radius in towards left so it is taking turn in left direction the rotary engine and the propeller of the plane has a mass of 400 kg with a radius of gyration of 300 mm the engine runs at 2400 rpm clockwise when viewed from the rear so when you look from the rear side the engine and propeller is rotating in clockwise direction so i have drawn this so it is rotating in clockwise direction when viewed from the rear so you can say that this is rotating in anti clockwise direction when viewed from the front find the gyroscopic couple on the air aircraft and state its effect on it what will be the effect if the aeroplane turns to its right instead of to the left so first we have to determine gyroscopic couple which is very easy the value of gyroscopic couple is equal to i omega into omega p so given data are first radius of rotation is given 50 meter next velocity is given 200 km per hour here so first convert this into meter per second so kilometer means 1000 multiply by 1000 to convert this into meter and hour is 3600 seconds So divided by 3600 from that you will get 55.56 meters per second once you get this v you can calculate angular velocity of precession omega p which is v by r so v 200 uh, 55.56 divided by 50 from that you will get 1.11 radian per second now mass of the rotating parts is given 400 kg radius of gyration is given 300 mm 300 mm so i have converted that into meters 0.3 meter moment of inertia i will be mk square and so you will get 36 kg meter square as moment of inertia now last remaining this is i this is omega p now omega is remaining that you can calculate using relation 2 pi n by 60 where n is rpm of this uh, rotating part which is given as 2400 from this you can calculate this as 251.2 radian per second now calculate gyroscopic couple which is equal to i omega omega p so i is 36 omega is 251.2 and omega p is 1.11 If you multiply all these three, you will get 10,037 newton meter. So I have converted this into kilo newton meter as 10.037 kilo newton meter. Now we will try. Uh, now we will study its effect on it. So initially, you can see this. Uh, uh, this is rotating in clockwise direction when viewed from the rear side. From the right hand screw rule, you will get one vector initial momentum uh, in towards this direction. and it is taking a left turn so this arrow will take also in this direction it will take this position so this is start position start, start point this is end point so this is this will be your active gyroscopic couple from start to end opposite to this will be reactive gyroscopic couple towards this direction so this i have drawn in top view that means this arrow is acting towards you towards us therefore if you want to get this vector which is a reactive gyroscopic couple you have to apply a uh, apply an anti clockwise couple like this so this will be anti clockwise couple so if you apply this anti clockwise couple 
then from right hand screw rule screw will move towards you towards this direction and effect of this anti clockwise couple is to raise the nose and dip the tail of this aeroplane the aeroplane is taking right turn like this if it is taking right turn again direction of rotation when viewed from the rear side is clockwise so from the right hand screw if you rotate clockwise direction right hand screw it will move in this direction so initial vector or initial momentum after that it is taking right turn so this momentum will take this direction so from start point to end point is active gyroscopic couple opposite to this reactive gyroscopic couple so reactive gyroscopic couple is acting towards uh, away from this screen or away from you so that couple you can obtain by uh, drawing one by applying a clockwise couple and the effect of this clockwise couple will be to dip the nose and raise the tail of this aeroplane thank you for watching this video